There is selection going on for genes that make you less likely to get run over by a car as a kid. Uh, because, well, right now we have selection for that. However, that uh, only came into being relatively recently. And it might be that autonomous cars get really good in a few years, and then that selection just disappears. So whatever those genes happen to be, get different selection. So can I ask about that? So you, th you think there's a selective pressure to avoid being run over by cars? I mean, I'm not sure that's true. I mean, well, certainly well, suppose, uh, you're, 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 no, you're, being run over by cars is a source of mortality, unquestionably yeah. a large one in some populations. But the question is, is it differential with respect to the traits of the population? Uh, if that, you're, I mean, if is you're the idea that small people have a greater risk? Uh, if, you, if you're impulsive because of, let's say, in the dopamine system, your brain works in a particular way because you have certain versions of those enzymes and the receptors, you might uh, decide to run out in the street much more likely than somebody who's less impulsive. The less impulsive person is less likely to be run over by a car. So in an area where there's a lot of traffic, there is going to be a selection. It's not like there's a to have a lot like, of traffic, traffic and a lot of car accidents for that to play out. I think <laughs> impulsivity is more likely to lead young men to go out and die violently in homicide. But, but there are genetic uh, factors over. affecting impulsivity. That, that's yeah, relatively sure, yeah. stable. Uh, and many of these factors, of course, affect a lot of different things. So it might be, if you're impulsive, you might also end up in the back seat of a car and, uh, uh, with, with uh, somebody and produce more offspring that way. So these, pa <laughs> yep. these patterns are quite often really messy and affected by this environment.